Welcome back to Crypto Eddie. How are you doing, guys? Are you doing good? Excellent. Okay, today I'm going to talk about two meme coins that I hold in my portfolio, which I think will easily 100x in the upcoming bull run. Now, some of you might think, well, I'm looking for 500x, 1000x uh, for a meme coin. Otherwise, it's not worth the risk to reward. And I agree with you. But if I get 100x, I'm going to be quite a happy Larry. Okay. Um, now, how do I get to the conclusion that a certain meme coin will do 100x, whereas others will not? Well, OK, I got to this conclusion by scouring thousands of comments in hundreds of YouTube videos, OK, to see which memes are the most popular with people watching meme coin videos, OK, and also which coins are the most popular with um, YouTube video hosts. So you know, the people who are leading the channels with the most followers. OK, so that is a pretty good indicator because it tells you, you know, which big channels are pumping them and just how many people are watching those videos. And then when you go through the comments, you'll see who thinks which coins are best. OK, that's how I that's one of the ways that I came to my conclusion. Also, these were two tokens that I fancied really early on. And I've always stuck with them. You know, they've always been my favorite meme coins. OK, um, I won't mention what they are right now. OK, after all, uh, they're actually quite good at blowing their own trumpets, just like the YouTube channels are. OK, before I get to those two tokens, I want to show you a pre-sale. Now, watch carefully because this looks really good. OK, so I'm going to review this token Pandoshi, which is in pre-sale right now and has raised millions of dollars. It appears to be very legit, judging by the amount of press it gets. OK, so just look at this website. OK, so you can see here we have a press release on the on the 9th of February. New cryptocurrency Pandoshi nears completion of its presale, reaching 8000 holders in just one month. OK, and you can see here that this is on Coin Telegraph, which is considered a very reputable, uh, newsworthy news outlet in the crypto space. But huh, just be careful. Look, it says here this content is provided by the sponsor. In other words, Pandoshi have paid to get this onto Coin Telegraph. So, you know, whatever it says here about Pambo, you know, Pambo is the ticket. Yeah? It doesn't really matter. Look, currently final stage. A pre-sale is in 50%. Now, I think they've had about five stages to this pre-sale. And when you get five stages to a pre-sale, you know what that tells me? It tells me that they're trying to grab as much money as they can by saying, look, if you get in the in the earliest pre-stage, you get it at like, you know, like uh, 0 0.001. And if you get it in the second pre-sale, you get it a bit higher. No, 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 two. No, 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 three. No, 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 five. No, 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 seven. You know, so the price gradually goes up as the pre-sale, you know, continues. So by the time you get into the last pre-sale, it's already, you know, increased in price quite a lot. But people kind of like they build a momentum with people. They get people excited and people think, well, if that many people have bought into the pre-sale, it must be good. You know, so that's the way that they sort of suck people in. OK, now. I've got no evidence up to now to say that this is, can I say the word, <laughs> a scam. OK, but you know, it might be, it might not be. It might be a good launch. You know, the thing is about pre-sales is that they're very risky because, you know, obviously the project needs money to grow and they need some injection of cash so that, you know, their, their token, they can market it and they can make the project project better. OK. Now, Pambo is saying it's the DeFi ecosystem dedicated to the fundamental principles of blockchain. Doesn't really say much there, does it? You know, it's just a, it's a load of bump, you know. OK, at first glance, it may seem like a meme coin, but it's not. In fact, it represents a fully integrated ecosystem of products that not only introduce new, new concepts, but also contribute to the growth of the native coin. OK, I'm not going to read everything here. OK, so. They're talking about having a non-custodial KYC free reloadable uh, 
wallet, and sorry, a reloadable prepaid crypto card, educational programs, NFTs, etc., etc. Okay. Now then, what they're saying is that they're going to have this, not that they have it already. Okay. Also says that it's a layer two proof of stake protocol. Okay. Um, let's continue. I mean, you know, they've got all the buzzwords there. The native coin of the project is Pambo, only 2 billion tokens. Well, Bitcoin only has 21 million, you know, not 2 billion, <laughs> of which 1 billion will be in circulating supply. So only half the, bill, or half the tokens are out, which means it can get a lot of uh, dilution, okay? I don't think it'll even get to that, to be honest. I'll tell you why later. Um, if I go down here, okay, I just can't read all this. It'll just drive me crazy, you know. Okay, let's le read the conclusion, yeah. The project holds significant potential, having introduced many new concepts to the blockchain world. Features a deflationary asset, has developed one of its products ahead of the initial roadmap projections. This explains the rapid accumulation of holders, near sellout in just one month. Following this, we look forward to the conclusion of the pre-sale and the launch of both centralized and decentralized exchanges. No mention of what those exchanges are yet. And then they give you here, look, it's a website and a white paper. So, you know, I think this is quite dishonest to be using Cointelegraph to make it look like that this is a news story pushed by Cointelegraph when in fact it's not. OK, um, it says there, look, the content is provided by the sponsor. Sponsor must be Pandoshi themselves. OK, next. Here we see Finbold. Okay, press releases are sponsored content, not part of Finbold's editorial content. For a full disclaimer, please click here. Okay, so you can see here that analysts predict newly launched crypto Pandoshi to reach $5 upon exchange listings. Now, that would give it something like a thousand X. Okay, um, now. I can't see this doing a thousand X. I am going to announce on Thursday a token through my VIP Telegram chat, a token which will have a thousand X potential. And you're going to see that it's very different from this. OK, they don't need all this, you know, um, fake advertising, which is why I think it is, you know, again, February 11th here. So the DeFi sector has welcomed a groundbreaking newcomer, Pandoshi. Really? The DeFi sector? Uh, who in decentralized finance has been talking about Pandoshi? Nobody, to my knowledge. You know, all I can see is reports in, you know, uh, buy me at any price um, publications that have taken their money and allowed them to produce what looks like news when really it's just an elaborate advertising um, campaign. Pandoshi has been creating waves of excitement recently. No, it hasn't. Experts analyzing the protocol believe it holds the key to transforming the industry. Name one expert. Don't write that. Name one of the experts. You can't, can you? A significant buzzword surrounds its anticipated debut on premier centralized exchanges. OK, you know, we've seen a lot of absolutely crap launches that have got instantly onto MEXC, you know. So the fact that it goes onto a centralized exchange, I don't see as significant. You know, if you've got the money to back it and you've kind of worked out that you can scam or you can con a certain amount of people by, you know, using the classic playbook of how to scam people, then, you know, getting onto exchanges means nothing, you know, and we've seen it already with other tokens. Um, with speculation suggesting Pambo's value might soar to $5 by 2024. Okay. I think it's something like, I think it's like a tenth of a, a penny now or a penny, you know, or a cent, you know, so they're talking about 500x or 1000x, yeah. Uh, that, that's how they're trying to suck people in, you know. They think people's greed will get the better of them. Okay, so, you know, if you're watching this video, uh, please like and subscribe, you know, because I'm trying to give you the heads up 
of how to see scams. How, you know, I'm not saying that this token is a scam, 100%, but it's looking like it now to me because of the way that they are advertising it, you know. Okay, highlights of the Pandosha ecosystem, a wallet, Panda, Panda chain, okay, proof of stake layer two, designed for ex, 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 expedited or expedited, whatever, cost-effective transactions, plays a critical role in increasing Pambo scarcity and burn rate. Pando, she swap. I mean, <laughs> well, I'll have a bollocks, say. Eh? Come on. <laughs> Why would you use that when there's so many DEXs out there? Kadoshi crypto cards. Pandoshi introduces Kadoshi, a crypto debit card enabling users to spend Pambo. You know, the concept all sounds pretty good, doesn't it? You know, but uh, you're going to see soon that it just all falls on its face. Okay, Pambo, Pan Pandoshi's core utility token, integral to the ecosystem's functionality. Key aspects of Pambo include a maximum supply of 2 billion tokens, half the supply for public pre-sale, ongoing pre-sale, priced at 0.01. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're talking about a 500x, okay, during the bull run. Aggressive buy and burn strategy to eliminate 8% of tokens. Okay, so um, it's a strategy. They haven't actually eliminated 8% of the tokens. Whether they ever would is pure speculation. Deflationary model with a diminishing supply. Maybe diminishing faster than you think, guys. <laughs> Do you not remember that um, launch, Dog Elian? It was all over Yahoo News and other press releases. And they had the same thing. They had like five stage pre-sales. And, you know, I remember putting in $100, yeah. Did they ever get the tokens? No. <laughs> they seem to have disappeared off the face of the earth, actually. You know, Um a lot of people are very unhappy about that launch. This looks very similar, you know. Our experts concur that achieving $5 valuation is plausible. So they've got their own experts who work for them saying that it's going to do a 500x. Yeah! <laughs> Get your money in, guys, you know. Uh, they've got experts telling you it's going to $5, yeah. And they're going to give you a 500x. <laughs> Final thoughts. Okay. I'm sorry for laughing, but you know, this is funny. Yeah. Pandoshi is poised to enhance the DeFi world, offering users key cryptocurrency utilities and innovative solutions. All right. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Let's move on. Oh, look. <laughs> there's another, there's another um, press release. Yeah. This time it's by CryptoDaily.co.uk and uh, buying Pandoshi, a penny, is like buying Ethereum for $10. Whoa, I'm really, really excited about this, you know. What is Pandoshi? Pre-sales nearly sold out. Uh, Pandoshi following Ethereum's footsteps. And they, they haven't actually released the token, you know. Um, no one's got any tokens whatsoever. They've just put the money in the pre-sale and then later they will drop the tokens to you. Okay, so Ethereum needs no introduction as the second largest crypto with 200 plus billion market cap. However, rewind to 2015 and it was just an ambitious crowdfunding project like Pandoshi. No, it wasn't just an ambitious crowdfunding project. You know, it had like uh, Vitalik and also Charles Hoskinson and Gavin Wood, who were heading it. So you had three pretty major blockchain experts who were actually building that blockchain. Pandoshi is an innovative new project quickly gaining traction with pre-sale nearing close, okay. Uh, prices skyrocketed to 0 0.01 to a penny, yeah. Offering staggering 500 returns for early adopters. What is Pandoshi? Inspired by legendary Bitcoin founder, Satoshi Nakamoto. Really? So uh, has he made statements somewhere, you know, sanctioning this project? Uh, Satoshi? I don't think so. 
Pandoshi champions decentralization, privacy and financial freedom. Privacy, yeah. We'll see that later. The ambitious ecosystem includes Panda Chain, fast and low cost proof of stake blockchain, Pando SheSwap decentralized exchange, non custodial wallet, uh, a debit card, and more. Okay. But, you know, you don't even have your token, so uh, you can't really touch any of that right now. Okay. Notably, 50% goes towards public pre sale. Okay. I've already mentioned all that. So, you know, more and more information just trying to persuade you to buy this token, yeah? Okay, I mean, that's what advertisement's all about, isn't it, yeah? Now here, we're on the website, and what can we see? Well, let me take it to the top for you. I mean, it's a, it's a very sort of like childish-looking website, okay? You know, if they're going to offer so many different things like Dex and Wallet and, you know, we're a layer two with this and with that, then I would expect a website that looked more like, you know, some commercial take me serious website rather than, you know, something. I mean, this looks like some kids cartoon comic, you know, ecosystem, tokenomics, roadmap, white paper, where, how to buy. OK, so. Let's look at the tokenomics, yeah? Saying that it'll have 80% of the supply removed from circulation, 50% at the moment is going to the public sale, okay? Metaverse game, the currency of Pandoshi University. You know, they, they got so many things going on, you know, or they're saying that they're planning so many things that I just find it hard to believe, you know? Um, something interesting, actually, about the tokenomics, show. Yeah? you notice something, yeah? Public sale, 50%. Dex, decentralized exchanges, get 20%. There's 70% there, yeah? Now, how are they going to burn 80% when they've given the public 50% and the Dexes have got 20%? Okay, maybe they've got a way of doing it, but it doesn't make sense, does it? Bonus program, 20%. Central exchange liquidity, 10%. Okay, so they don't really explain how they're going to burn 80% and... I don't believe that. I just think it, it, it sounds too good to be true. And when it's too good to be true, usually it is. OK, now, the interesting thing as well about the um, distribution or the allocation of the tokens is that the team don't get any tokens. So where's the team's motivation, you know, to push this project forward and make it succeed? Doesn't seem to be any, you know, because once all the tokens are out, there's nothing there for the team, is there? Public, DEX, bonus, central exchange. So I, I don't get that, you know. Okay, there's the roadmap. You can look at that if you want, okay? I'm not going to actually stay any longer on this website, and I'll tell you why. There's no team. There is no team, okay? So someone has produced this, and they've got a white paper. This is their Twitter X in the meantime. They've got 7,000 followers. They've got 4,500 followers on Telegram, joined August 2023. It's very new, yeah? Okay, there is something else I want to show you, and that's Scam Advisor. Now, Scam Advisor will do an audit of a website to tell you all whether or not it's trustworthy, okay? Now then, Pandoshi, is it safe or is it a scam, okay? Reported as unsafe. Why is it unsafe? It's getting a trust score of one out of a hundred. Now, if a website gets a trust score of one out of a hundred or scam advisor, that means that there's something very dodgy about that website. Okay. And even if, you know, even if it's a, if it's a project where they're out to scam you and they're getting one out of a hundred on scam advisor, they're really bad at hiding how scammy they are, you know, now, OK, positive highlights. The website offers payment methods which offer a money back services. We found valid certificate and the DNS filter labels are safe. Negative highlights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. OK, um, the website is not trusted by Trend Micro. The age of the, the, what the site is very young. Well, you know, that's fair enough. It is a young project, okay? Negative reviews were detected for this website 
uh, cryptocurrency detected, which can be high risk. That doesn't matter. OK, registrar of this website is popular among scammers. The server of the site has several low reviewed other websites. OK, so, you know, it's getting a lot of bad reviews. Scam advisor is really saying steer clear. Not a genuine cryptocurrency. It's a scam. There's no authentic code supporting the project. OK, that looks like a reasonable review. More information. OK, so it's only been registered for six months from now in the future. So is that when they plan to shut down? Who knows? Yeah. You know, it's got a lot of these um, negative points here, mainly that it's been reviewed as a bad website by certain people. I have seen some reviews for it and it's been quite bad. Also, um, people on their Telegram said that they were getting alerts on their security when they opened the website. So it looks like there's something dodgy about the website, you know. OK. Anyway, in my opinion, this is not a real project because they do not have a team. This is the white paper and there's no team. OK. And what if you've got a project that's got a DEX, that's got a wallet, you know, um, and you've got all those things going on, why would the team not be proud of what they'd produced and want to put their faces out there for everyone to see, you know? Now, if you buy this, you won't even get the token, okay, straight away. Your money will be locked and your tokens will come later. You know, I mean, I've had a few su successful pre-launches and this could be a legit pre-launch, but without a team, I just wouldn't trust it, guys. I would stay away from it, OK? And I think they're promising more than they can deliver. Now, guys, you know, scams come in all shapes and sizes. And, you know, this is a good one, I'm telling you, you know. Did you know that Michael Saylor was offering to give away Bitcoin and Ethereum to you? Just watch this. The CEO of MicroStrategy. Today, we announce a giveaway of 100,000 Ethereum and 1,000 Bitcoin. To participate in the 100,000 Ethereum and 1,000 Bitcoin giveaway promotion, follow these steps to double your Ethereum. Simply locate the QR code displayed in the upper right corner of this video and scan it. The QR code will redirect you to our official website where you can find the designated address. Send a minimum of 0.1 Ethereum or 0.1 Bitcoin with a maximum of 1,000 Ethereum and 100 Bitcoin to the address specif- You see, there's a giveaway that it's a scam and, you know, that it's AI producing this, yeah? When he says Ethereum. Okay, so, you know, I've heard Michael Saylor talk many times. He doesn't say Ethereum. He says Ethereum. Find it on the website. Within five minutes of the transaction, you will receive double the amount sent to the same wallet used for the transaction. This special offer is our gesture of gratitude to the community that stands by us, shares our vision, and upholds Bitcoin. We owe our presence to you and want you to celebrate our achievements with us. As we forge ahead and achieve new goals, we are more dedicated... Terrible, yeah? I mean, someone actually, you know, used AI to create this... Mike, Michael Saylor, you know, dummy, that's not him. He's not saying that. He would never offer to double your Bitcoin or your Ethereum in this way. You know, and anyone who's watched a few Michael Saylor videos would know. This is a guy who would know if he put this out, everyone's going to think that's a scam. So he would never, ever get involved in anything like this, you know. But some people will actually fall for this, you know. Cated than ever to building a community where all can prosper. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. And don't forget, there's only 100,000 Ethereum and 1,000 Bitcoin up for grabs. So act fast. Oh, I better get in quick. <laughs> dear, dear. And now I'd like to show you another scam that involves Charles Hoskinson. But again, I don't think this is Charles Hoskinson. I think this is AI generated video using Charles Hoskinson's image and it looks like he's talking and this looks like he's giving giving away a Cardano giveaway 
Okay, just listen how convincing it is because, you know, this shit is getting scary. Cardano's giveaway. Here's how you can enter the giveaway. Find the QR code on your screen and scan it. It will direct you to our official website where you will see further instructions. This giveaway is our way of giving back to the community that has stood by us, believed in our vision, and held Ada through thick and thin. We are here because of you, and we want to ensure that you share in our success. Thank you for being a part of this journey, and here's to many more milestones together. Okay, so you can see that that looks like Charles Hoskinson there, and you know that they're, they're trying to lure you into a giveaway so that they can cheat you. So, you know, the scams are getting more elaborate, you know, and I've said this before, and, you know, I think I said before that I said, I'd say it another hundred times, you know, that if there's one thing that's guaranteed to hundred X, no, thousand X in this bull run, it's going to be scammers. Okay. So, you know, you've got to have your scam antenna on at all times. And, you know, you can't be leaving your crypto on your computer that you use for social media, you know, or on your smartphone that you use for social media and all the other things that you're doing with your smartphone or your computer. OK, you know, when you download a token to your MetaMask or your trust wallet or, or whatever, you know, wallet you're using, that's a warm wallet, transfer it then to a Tangem or a Trezor. You know, I've got links below in the description for Tangem. It's cheap cheap cold storage wallet offline, but it's got like online functionality while you're using it. So it's very safe for keeping all your tokens safe, um, but you can actually use it almost like a warm wallet. Okay, now Tangem is very cheap because it does, I think it does carry that risk, you know, that it's still on your phone. You have to have this sort of card with it that you swipe. If someone knew your number, and they had hold of your card and they could get in your phone, they could get all your assets, okay? Um, the Trezor is different. You know, Trezor T is a device that's completely unconnected from your phone or your computer, and that's where you will hold maybe your Bitcoin and your Ethereum long-term. So check out Trezor T as well. In the description, there's a link, yeah? I think Trezor T is the best because you can open a separate wallet and give it a separate secret code for every single coin that you're holding. So that if someone got hold of that wallet, or if they got into one of your tokens on the blockchain, all the rest would be safe. Now, that's why I think Trezor T is the best cold storage wallet. Okay, like I said, in the description, you'll find the links. Also, if you're trading cryptocurrency without a VPN, I think you're mad because, you know, people who can spy through your Wi-Fi, you know, who know how to get into your computer or phone, they can then get information and they can clean out your crypto, as, um, especially if you haven't got a cold storage wallet. So, you know, act sensibly, it only costs you a few hundred dollars to sort those things out and keep yourself safe because, you know, it's a very bad policy to go around saying, well, that won't happen to me because I'm not that stupid. It happens to anybody, okay? Anyway, Links in the description below if you want to protect yourself, up to you, you know. Right, finally, you know, I want, I want to get onto the two tokens that I think will will 100x in the next bull run, okay? This uh, Samoyedon coin, is that right? Samoyed? Samoyed. Samoyed coin. Anyway, they call it Samo, yeah? And it's on the Solana blockchain. Now, this has been getting a bit of attention because... It's on the Solana blockchain. But let me tell you guys that I wouldn't touch this and I'll show you why. I mean, look, it came out in 2021, had this big rise up to what's that in market cap? I think it was. Yeah, look, look it's about 730, 40 million there. OK, it's only 44 million now. And, you know, the team or whoever made this project, I think when it got up there, you know, they had a big street party. Yeah, <laughs> that is when they were as high as kites, you know, and then it came down very quickly, just like a hangover does. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, 
right into the uh, right into the bear run, and I don't see this as recovering, you know, because it's gone. It's had its little run up. Team have had the money out of it, and I think they've moved on. I mean, project's still going. It's like anything. If you've got something online that's getting you passive income and you do virtually nothing to get that passive income, why should you care? Why would you close it? You know, let's just have a look at their Twitter, yeah? I mean, this has been going since like six months before Bitcoin got to its top, yeah? So it's got 148,000 followers, yeah? Now, do you really think those 148,000 followers are still engaging? You know, it's like you subscribe to a lot of stuff, but it's like you just don't unsubscribe, you know? Um, so a lot of these big YouTubers that have got 500, 600,000, a million followers, a lot of those people are never watching them, you know, okay? And this project, I think it's just had its run, and I don't think you'll see much of it in the bull run, okay? I think it's done. And this is their website, you know, Samoyed Coin Solana's Cutest Ambassador. Okay, it's a dog on Solana. You know, it just doesn't do anything for me. You know, it's just... And the website looks awful. You know, this uh, big block of print here just makes me, you know... I don't know, it just makes me want to not, not read it, for sure, you know. How to buy? Well, first you have to blow it up so you can read this garbage here. How to buy NFTs, where to buy... Yeah, you know, it looks like the team is not really that bothered, you know, that's why they don't upgrade the website, you know. Uh, what, did, what did the team get? They got like 3.9%. You know, they will have had their tokens by now and, you know, they would have got their money off it. So, you know, they're probably just collecting more money. And I just can't see this really achieving much in the future. You know, I think new projects are the ones that are going to be successful because, you know, they're new and they're going into their first bull run. They're more exciting. I mean, let's have a look here, look. They got 5,000 members in their Telegram, 427 online. You know, not that, not that popular, yeah. Okay, so one of my calls is Wojak, okay? Now, Wojak is an Ethereum token, unfortunately, but as we know, Ethereum will do well. And Wojak is also a cartoon character. So, you know, if you ask a teenager, do you know Wojak? They know Wojak. They know the character Wojak. And it's not a made up dog or frog, just with a name, you know, looking a bit cute or stupid. It's actually a character. So I think that gives it the edge on quite a lot of tokens that in the meme coin category. You can see it's fully diluted already and it's only 20 million. So. 2 billion will be 100x. And I think this will easily go to 2 billion because what did Dodge go to? Dodge went to, was it like 70 billion or something? Okay. So this only has to do, you know, um, a 30, 35, you know, 135th of what um, Dodge did in the last bull run. Yeah. I mean, you won't get the same blow up effect that you got from Dodge because Dodge was backed by Elon Musk, you know, but those people who put money into those coins, they're still looking out for those meme coins that are going to make them rich or they think is going to make them rich. Okay. I don't think there's that many that will do that well, but I think Wojak will. There's not a lot you can say about a meme coin, you know, it's like, what, what kind of character is it? Because Quite often they're fully diluted. Um, you know that there's no team because the team think, I'm not putting my name on a shit coin. I mean, if it does well, it does well and we'll make a lot of money and so will a lot of other people. But if it goes down the toilet and a lot of meme coins do, you know, I don't think I should destroy my reputation for a meme coin. I'm doing other stuff that's, you know, that's really good. And, you know, <laughs> we want to produce a meme coin because it's interesting it's a bit of a fun play, but they don't want to state the reputation on it, you know. There's the website. It's very simple. So there's Wojak Token, um, Coin Market Cap, 
Twitter X, Telegram, take your pick, CoinGecko. You know, very simple, yeah? And there's the character, McDonald's there. I don't know why. I don't, maybe McDonald's sponsors them, I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, and there you go, tweets from Wojak. If you want to look at the tweets, they, I mean, they do have quite a funny Twitter. You know, they've got this sort of like fairly humorous theme going on, you know. So if you go down, you can see the more the, the Monday morning meeting. <laughs> I mean, that's funny, you know. You know, being in the project early is what gets rewarded the most in Web3. Score the grand prize, win up to 100K. Wojak coin, tomorrow is Monday, you know. So they got this sort of like funny play on it, you know. Here's a joke about women, which maybe is not that funny. You know, maybe the joke is on him, not on her. <laughs> you know, Wojak Super Coin Super Bowl commercial next year. So you can see that they can play with this character quite a lot. I mean, you know, he looks like Freddy Krueger a bit, doesn't he? You know, a bit scary. With his bald head and his serious face. And here's another joke, you know, trying to convince my bro sports betting is EV compared to gambling on illiquid microcap meme coins. Ha ha ha. Okay, and then the only one bearish is Wistard of Soho. I don't get that one, you know. Okay, so, you know, the Twitter X is quite active. Uh, not bad, 42,000 followers, must be genuine. I see Wojak is doing very well. Now, I see this one is doing just as well. It's called Kok Inu. And why? Well, it's got good liquidity, yeah? Um, it's fully diluted. You can see there the volume, 5.7 million, yeah? That's quite a lot. Um, circulating supply, it's all out. And here on the max, okay, the price, okay, when people say zero, see 0, 0, 0.05 more zeros, they just sort of go, oh, it goes another two zeros there. It's not going to take much, and it's not going to take much. It's got a very healthy market cap. So, you know, 107 million, you might think, well, that's a bit high. Yeah, but, you know, the best meme coin is probably going to do 12 billion or maybe 12 or 15 billion, you know, it could be Kokinu, you know, because if we have meme coins in the last bull run and they're doing like, what was it, 60, 70 billion, you know, I mean, I would think even without the Elon Musk thing, pe people are still going to chase the meme coin, you know, FOMO. And I think Kokinu is going to be the biggest one, you know, that's my opinion. Um, it's also on the Avalanche blockchain, so it's cheap and easy to transfer, okay? Uh, they probably have a shit website, because they all do. <laughs> yeah, they do, you know. So there's not much there. They've got the Twitter X, they've got the Telegram, okay? People are going to chase these, not because they've got any good utility, but they think that, you know, I just want to put some money on this, have a flutter, because I think it can go up a lot and I can make some money and get out and I can have a holiday or buy a new car. That's how people think, you know. It's, it's the gam You are gambling with these coins, there's no question. So, you know, if you put money in, be very careful, you know. I mean, where can you buy this Coquino, Bybit, Qcoin, Trader Joe, decentralized and centralized exchanges? Uh, I didn't mention, did I, Wojak? Where can you buy it? Let's have a look at the markets. So you got Gate and you got Uniswap, yeah? There's also BitGet, BitMart, Uniswap 3. So you've got centralized, decentralized exchanges. Okay, guys, that's my take today. So be very careful if you're looking at meme coins, if you're looking at pre-launches because they can trip you up. They can look real because of the press releases, but I wouldn't believe them, you know? Um, wait till the token comes out and once it's shot up, you're going to see it hit the floor. And if you want to buy it and they're showing the team, that's the time to buy it. But, you know, the pre-sales are so risky. Some of them do come off, but, you know, I'm not joking. The ones that I've, I've looked at, I've looked at a hundred of them maybe, yeah? I've seen out of a hundred, maybe, you know, five 
or 10 at max that have come off where you could have made some money and maybe only like one out of 20, you know, uh, you're looking at those kind of odds. So if I were you, I would stay away from them. It's not 100% that they're scams, but there's a good chance they're scams, especially if there's no team. Most pre-sales don't show the team. Okay, I don't know why. Easy to do. But if they're not doing that, then you've got to think about that, yeah? Okay, guys, uh, look out for my announcement on Thursday. I will be actually showing you a token which I believe can do a 1,000x. It's in the gaming narrative, and I'll be making a YouTube video a few days later. It's going to first go on to my VIP Telegram chat. So look in the description below for how to get into my VIP Telegram chat. It's pretty cheap, to be honest. If you pay by crypto, even cheaper, about 50 to 60% discount. Okay, guys, that's all I've got for you. Thanks for watching. Watch, thanks for listening. Okay, take care of yourselves wherever you are. For me, it's time to have a cup of my tea. Cheers.